In this video, we're going to be unboxing the Pilot Cine RX50 Premium Edition. Hey guys, it's Ray Alvarez, Shoot With Ray, and in this video, we're going to be unboxing this amazing device here. Check it out. It is the Atom Cube RX50 Premium Edition. It is the an amazing light LED panel provided by Pilot Cine. I'm gonna show it to you guys one more time. I'm excited about this. I'm excited to opening this. This is gonna be my first official unboxing video here on YouTube on this channel. Um, I've done unboxing before. I've done some videos that I've sent over to different brands, but this is my first official unboxing video here on this YouTube channel. I'm excited and I hope you're excited and I'm glad that you guys are here for the ride. So let's get this thing open and let's see what's in it. All right. So first and foremost, and I'm sorry here in advance for the, the, the loud sound here. I'll try to lower the volume for you guys in, in the editing. In the box, we had this book bag. It's in this plastic casing. Get it out of here, right? right. It's nice. All right, check this out, guys. This is great. So it, lo it almost looks like a laptop bag, right? It's not that big. Check it out. That's really cool. Um, these are like handles. So if you're out and about, you can just kind of like hold it. Um, I guess you can also latch some sort of uh, shoulder strap to it. It has two outside pockets. This is the case, so two outside pockets. They're pretty deep. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, there goes the shoulder strap that you attach to it. Second pocket, let's see what's in there. We have some instructions or warranty card. That's nice to have, that's good to have, warranty card. All right, so we got the two pockets in the front, and we also have a pocket in the back. Let's see here. All right, it's empty. Handlebar came out, but it's easy. It's actually pretty easy to put back on. So that's pretty cool. Maybe you can clean them or something like that. All right, let's see here. And it's back on. <clears throat> Simple enough. All right, so let's open up the book, the book bag, the case. And let's see. Yeah, so we have the Pilot Cine power adapter. Okay. Put that to the side here. Here it is. This is the RX. 50 guys, it has barn doors on it. This is the back side. Oh, it's a little heavy, a little heavy. It was like three, four pounds. We'll double check that later. Let's check what else is in this bag. So there is this piece here. It's almost like foam. So it's a foam divider to avoid damaging the unit. But there's a few different pockets in here in this bag. So that's pretty cool. And there's also a strap to kind of make sure that it's like strapped in there safely. All right. So first look, this unit definitely has like barn doors, which is cool. Most LED panels come with that built in. So that's awesome. Looks like it has some sort of panel to kind of soften the light a bit. Okay. Um, I believe you can get these barn doors off, you just have to unscrew the bolts here. Unscrew those, unscrew the ones on the bottom and I believe this can come off. <clears throat> Matter of fact, let's do that now. Let's see if we can get it off. Yes. So the barn doors do include this piece here. 
which soften the light. Okay. And we still have this piece here, which we can attach. So these LED panels are good for pretty much anything, especially when you're doing video. Um, but it looks like we can use these for our weddings, our events, which is pretty cool. Um, we definitely love using LED panels. Shout out to Kevin. He loves Pilot Cine. He's the one who put me on to Pilot Cine. Um, and yeah, we're going to be using this a lot. So you just tighten the sides here and now this piece is there. And then if you want to tighten it and want it to live there, then you tighten it there and you tighten it here. And now we're good. So you can put this on a stand and it'll hold it there in place. You loosen it a little bit and you can move it up and down. And yeah, so like most LED panels, right? Cool. So first look, you have mode, you have set, function. So it's almost similar to the other Pilot Cines that I use, like the Atom Cube RX-7, um, where you can change the modes, HST, CST, um, change the colors, RGB mode. There's multiple colors with this thing. Uh, you could put it on a CST mode and then switch it to whatever temperature you want. Um, right now, I believe I'm using uh, 5600 Kelvin, which is typically what I use to fill my videos and my YouTube videos. And then there's clearly a spot here for a battery. That's pretty cool. So obviously if I buy an external battery, I can mount it right here. So there's an option for that. So if you want to upgrade and purchase yourself the battery, you can definitely do that. From perspective, this definitely looks almost like an eight inch, no, 10 inch wide. It's almost like 10 inches wide. I could be wrong. I'll put it in the description below. All right, so let's plug this thing in and then let's see what kind of modes we have in here and, and go from there. So I'll be back. All right, guys, so I'm back. I ended up plugging it in. Uh, there goes the thread, so you can, you know, put a stand on it, attach it to a stand or something. And then now, on the sides of the unit, well, on the back of the unit, I see here it says battery fully charged, right there. So that means the battery is charged for me, man. So that means we don't need to plug this in. So let's double check that real quick. Let's see. So it is completely wireless right now. All right, and let's turn this thing on. It's turning on. Woo, look at that guys. The unit is on, it is on, it is battery powered right now. That's awesome. Let me lower the intensity on this thing. Let me lower the intensity on this thing. So how do we do that? We do it the same way we've done. Oh, so it's changing the temperature, okay. That's cool. And then this is the intensity. Yeah, so, all right, so right now it is on. It is on right now. It's not as intense so that way I don't blind you guys here. Uh, so all I had to do is just tap the function button. Let me just show you what that looks like real quick. Function button right here in the middle. And then that's when I hit this. So I'm gonna lower it, brighten the intensity. I'm currently blinding myself for you guys. But yeah, let's lower the intensity on that. And then if I want to set the Kelvin temperature, that's changing as you can see here. It's currently cooler and then obviously a little warmer. Okay, so there, from there, let's see. DFS, I'm gonna have to look up what DFS is. I'll put that in the description. GM. Uh, I'm assuming that's, I'm not even going to assume. <laughs> I'm going to throw that in the description as well. Guys, this is an unboxing video. I've never played with this specific unit. This is new to me, so I'm going to learn more about it. Uh, but yeah, this is pretty cool. This is the, you could put a linear Expo Lagarde, Lagarity, Lagarity, I don't know, Expo S-curve. So it changes the light dynamics. It changes that part there. Okay, set one more time, and then that's back to the temperature. So let's change the mode here. 
Um, there's HSI mode, which is where I can add colors and you know specify exactly what kind of color I want. Change it by hue and saturation. So saturation is at 100%. And then the intensity is here as well. So we go into RGBDT mode. You can specify the specific numbers, codes for the RGB. So obviously the colors, red, blue, green. And then yeah, there's different modes. So basically very similar to the RX-7. This is just a big boy. This is just a bigger version of that RX-7. Um, if you guys haven't seen my review video on the RX-7, you can watch it by tapping here and check that video out. And basically the same thing that the RX-7 does is done here as well. This is just a larger version. So I have it set to candlelight mode. Maybe it's a little too bright. I didn't play around with the settings correctly. But this unit, along with the Atom Cube RX-7, they both have these awesome modes or scenarios that they like to call fire, party mode, candlelight mode, fire mode, police mode, you name it. There's a whole bunch of options inside of this unit. This is one of them, this is candlelight mode, but it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool to play with. You guys can get creative with your shoots, your videos, if you're shooting video and much more. All right, you guys are in trouble because you guys haven't been commenting on my videos. I need questions. I need questions from you guys. Ask me anything. You know, your comments, your questions help me and this channel grow. At the same time, it helps me help you. I definitely want you guys to learn something from this channel. I want you guys to learn something from me. So ask any questions you may have in regards to that video in the comments. So if you have any questions on this unit, the RX-7 or Pilot Cine, drop them in the comments below. Back to the video. Uh, guys, this is pretty cool. Um, I, I enjoy unboxing things now. This is this is awesome. But this is the Atom Cube 50 Premium Edition by Pilot Cine. This was a great quick unboxing video just to kind of check out the unit, see what it's about, how it's built. It looks really nice. I can't wait to start using this and put it into practice at a wedding or an event or or probably film another YouTube video with this unit. So give me a while, give me a little bit. I'll come back with a full usage and full review video on this unit here. Now, speaking of the Pilot Cine RX-7, have you guys seen the video yet where Kay uh, has a scorpion, a real scorpion, literally on her face and she has to use it as a prop for one of our photo shoots that we did a little while ago? Yes, 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 don't move, cause it's gonna fall. Um, if you haven't seen that video, go ahead and watch that video now. Thanks for watching. <laughs>